Hey there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here and I do these videos just to educate women on whole food nutrition, how you can match your daily food to your body, your hormones to match with what your physiology needs to get and keep a better result. Um, I am the author of the book, The Female Fat Solution, which is on Amazon, yay! And upcoming book, The Female Menopause Solution. We are two weeks out, people, from the release of this book, yes! So I'm gonna put in the comments right meow, there it is, that you can get on the wait list, boom, for the release of this book. You will be like one of the first people to know as soon as it goes live. It's also available for pre-order, like you can order it right now. Hi, Shirley. Um, it's good to see you on here, Shirley, yay. Um, but you can order this right now. I also have a podcast, The Female Health Solution, and YouTube channel, Dr. Beth Westy. So full of all the things to give content to women as part of the 12 week challenge, which also in the comments you can get on the wait list for the next challenge that I'm running. I only take a certain number of women in that challenge because I really wanna make sure it is the right fit for you. Um, I just realized that I have like makeup smeared on my face a little bit. It's cool, right? I'm a real person. <laughs> Um, but this is a, like a brand new addition to that challenge. I've got uh, the Female Health Solution Journal, specifically custom made for everybody that is in the challenge. Oh my gosh. So it's tools like this that really help you get and be successful. Um, so I just, I love educating women. I love making sure you're getting all the right tools, all the right things for your body, for your system that it really, really needs. So many women start a program, so many women start something and they get so stuck, frustrated, lost along the way without the right guidance. So that's why I'm really, really excited to talk about these things with you and to really cover some really important things that a lot of women struggle with health-wise and struggle with in terms of getting the right guidance, getting the right direction and really, you know, keeping the right results. So that's what we're gonna cover today. Um, I am gonna be talking about uh, thyroid and menopause specifically related, you know, to the book that I have coming out. Um, cause I do talk about that, but I do just want to make sure that you guys know tonight, I'm just going to cover some thyroid basics. I don't want to make this super complicated. It can be, you know, overwhelming when you start looking at, Oh, holy cow. Um, there's so much to cover. There's so much going on. Yes, absolutely. But I just want to make sure that, you know, you guys get all the information that you really need. So I will talk about the menopause piece. I'm going to spit a little bit <laughs> tomorrow um, with it. But tonight I want to cover some of the basic things with thyroid. Now, thyroid, again, thyroid is the gland that's at the base of your throat here, right? It is in charge of your metabolism. A couple of things that you may not know um, about this gland right here is that it's not only in charge of your metabolism and other things, but it is also, uh, it is also one of the only things. So that goes everywhere in the body and really, um, affects every single cell in your body. So there's two hormones that need to be present in your system that there's a receptor on each cell of your body for these two hormones. And the first one is vitamin D, which is technically a hormone, right? Even though it's called vitamin D, it's technically a hormone. Vitamin D, a cell on every, or a receptor on every single cell of your body for vitamin D. Two, thyroid, <laughs> thyroid hormone, receptor on everything, every cell in your body, receptor for thyroid. That's how important thyroid is, everywhere. Ooh, what, what to do when low progesterone causes low thyroid? Erica, what a great question. Um, yes, yes, I will be covering that more in detail tomorrow when I talk about hormonal things, especially with menopause and lower hormone levels and connected with the thyroid. So stay tuned for tomorrow's <laughs> video on that because um, I will be diving into the hormone specific, the sex hormone specific with thyroid. Great question. Though. I'm really glad you asked that. So, but those are that, that's the importance of thyroid hormone, right? Thyroid hormone gets kind of brushed off or it gets covered too quickly or it's not, you know, given the weight that it really needs to be given in terms of how important it is for your overall health. But here are some things that women a lot of times experience when they're having thyroid problems. Now, you don't have to have all of these to have a thyroid problem, right? Um, 
Erica, thank you. I'll stay tuned, but I'm only 30. <laughs> okay. Yes. Even though you're only 30, when I talk about the hormonal shift, you'll, you'll understand. It'll make sense. I'll cover it. Yeah. Um, tomorrow. <laughs> um, so yeah, when, even if you only have like some of these things, right, you don't have to have all of these to say, oh, this is definitely a thyroid and you can actually have all of these things yet. Go get a blood test and be told, oh, you know what? Your thyroid numbers are fine. Everything looks fine. And you're like, ah, oh, I'm definitely not fine. <laughs> I am not fine. <laughs> Everything looks fine though. Oh my gosh. But yet your thyroid is like functionally deficient. <clears throat> that's, that's one of the things. So weight gain, inability to lose weight, very, very common for thyroid. Oh, like one of the number one things. Fatigue. This is not just like, oh, I'm so tired. I need a nap. This is I'm tired. I'm going to fall asleep as I'm driving home. And, uh, I am fatigued that I can't even carry the groceries in from the car. My arms and my body hurts. My joints are achy fatigue. You can have dry skin, dry skin patches, different places of your body, hair loss. It can fall out in chunks or it can like just fall out a lot more than normal. And you may not notice this, um, either brain fog. Oh my gosh. The hard thing about brain fog is that sometimes you don't know it's brain fog until you're like way down the brain fog rabbit hole. Seriously. Heart palpitations. That can be a scary thing to have happen and a, and a decrease in mood, meaning like you just may be crabby all the time, right? So it's so easy to say, well, maybe I don't have hair loss. Maybe I do. I don't know. Yeah, I've gained some weight, but I haven't been perfect on my diet. Maybe that's it. Mm, I'm tired, but sure. Who isn't? I'm stressed. Maybe that's it. I don't know right? You can write off all of these things as something else, which a lot of us do. So it can be really tough. And again, like I said, even if you get a blood test, that doesn't necessarily mean that, that you're finding, you know, the right thing here. Um, or that you're, you're being told the right thing, meaning your thyroid numbers can be normal. Yet you feel like, oh man, this isn't right. This just isn't right. So <clears throat> here are some of the reasons you know, that your thyroid can be off. Again, some of them, it's not all of them. Um, surely I'm on thyroid meds already, but still don't lose weight. Ooh, yeah, yeah, there's different, there's a different protocol for all of this. So these are things that I do when I work with women in the 12 week challenge. When I work with women one-on-one, -on -one. even though you're on a thyroid med, even though you're following, you know, good nutrition guidelines, you need a different protocol and you need a different protocol, especially when uh, in tomorrow's video, when I talk about uh, women's hormones, because having your thyroid off, it can throw your period off. It can throw your sex hormones off. It can make menopause just horrendous for you. Yeah. So I'll cover that piece of it, the female hormone piece of it tied into thyroid tomorrow. But when we're looking at, you know, these things here and the cause of it, it's like I said, you need a different protocol for you. I mean, I always preach, you know, women need nutrition for women, for our body, for our physiology. That's like the base. What I have my programs for and the 12 week challenge for is when you have a thyroid issue on top of that, that's an even, you know, more tailored protocol for you, what your body needs, what it's going to be successful with and how to really keep your metabolism going. Cause when you have a thyroid issue, oftentimes your metabolism <laughs> tanks. That's, that's the technical word. <laughs> But, but you guys know what I mean, right? For those of you that have thyroid issues, you're like, oh my gosh, yes, yes. That is exactly what it feels like because that's exactly what it is. It's exactly what it is. So things that can throw off your thyroid even more, you know, sleep, having bad sleep, not getting enough sleep, screens before sleep, all that stuff can affect your thyroid. Stress having a really stressful time, not coming out of that stressful time, having a consistent stress, like a terrible job or a terrible relationship or something. Um, it, all of it can negatively affect the thyroid toxins, being around things, mold in your house can be a thing that throws things off for you, right? Like there's a ton of different toxins that you can be exposed to gut health, having crappy gut health, you know, I just did that free five day challenge where we talked about revitalizing the gut and everything. And all that is so important for your overall health, overall vitality. Um, and more and more stuff is coming out now on the importance of gut health and hormones and brain function and everything. So that's in there too. And then nutrition. Oh, your overall nutrition. Even if you have, oh, I eat pretty good. You can still have underlying issues that cause thyroid problems, but your nutrition is really 
you know, causing even more. Again, even if you think you're I'm eating clean, great, but you need to have tailored nutrition for what thyroid needs. Needs to be successful, needs to be better. So those are some things to really think about, right? And it, and it can be a tough place to be in. And ultimately, um, you know, lab tests, lab diagnostics, getting a full thyroid panel can tell you, you know, not just the TSH, which is thyroid stimulating hormone, but also T3, T4, thyroid antibodies, those things can give you a really a better, more complete picture of what is going on with your body and your system. So yeah, so that is why women can gain weight and not lose the weight and be really stuck, frustrated, and just ooh, fed up with it. Yeah. All right. That's what I got for you guys tonight. Um, just a quick thing on thyroid, where to start. Tomorrow, I'm going to be doing more of a deep dive into thyroid and your estrogen, progesterone, menopause, all of that stuff, how it affects if you're still having a cycle, if you're not having a cycle, and how that also ties into the weight gain and the struggles that you may have. Yay. <laughs> Sorry. I know, right? Sometimes I feel like I talk about stuff and it's, it's not positive at all. It's like, this is terrible. <laughs> I know, I know. But it's important you know this information so you know where to start, right? Because if you feel like you have random things going on, you might feel like you're crazy. You're not crazy. Something's going on in your system, right? And these are things that I help create a tailored specific plan for you to make sure you have everything you need to get back on the right track. Yeah. So again, you can click the link in the comments there. Um, get on the wait list, you know, reach out if you have any other questions. Don't hesitate. Send me an email, send me a message, whatever it is. I'm more than happy to be a resource for you. All right. I hope you guys have a great rest of your night and I will see you later.